considered public transportation. So if you bring an art car to Burning Man, part of the deal is that uh, you have to drive people around as sort of a, it's the bus transportation, but most everyone here has a bicycle. There's just tens of thousands of bikes here. Nighttime is when a lot of the activity takes place. There's a lot of sculptures and events that uh, entail big fire, big flames, propane. <laughs> Burning Man, there are a number of groups who have interesting ideas and they culminate in wonderful things like this sculpture behind me. Now, there's a group called the Flaming Lotus Girls, which is mostly women, but not entirely women. And they have composed this lovely sculpture called Soma. And um, I'd love to uh, know what inspired that. Um, so, Soma was inspired, I'm a, I'm a chemist, Mills here is a histopathologist, there's a lot of scientists in our group, and, uh, and we, got, we were really interested in the brain, uh, the brain's sort of the final frontier, and so we wanted to celebrate that aspect of humanity, and so we built this sculpture, which is, uh, it's, a, it's uh, two neurons talking to one another. Well, someone went by on a bicycle earlier and they said, oh, those girls had a lot of nerve. <laughs> so, <laughs> That's a good one. I like that. <laughs> I didn't we know do. what she was talking about then, but I do now. <laughs> and so you've got a combination of flames and LED lights. And so at nighttime, this is spectacular. And um, now you're the propaniac. Uh, Mills is actually <laughs> propaniac. I'm propaniac junior. <laughs> so much that the sculpture runs on, um, on gas propane. And it has continuous flame coming out of a lot of the dendrites, sort of initiating signals, sort of showing signals being coming into the into the neuron. And also all the way down the spine, there are continuous flames and also what we call PUFAs, which are basically small flame effects that build up gas and you release a solenoid valve by pushing a button. Did you start out with just a small model and figure out from there how to build this? You should talk about yeah, the model, Charlie. Well, I mean, yes, we did. We built a model. We had an inch and a half scale model of the, of the whole sculpture. And, and the entire thing was built out of that with a tape measure. And little pieces of wire literally modeled everything. This looks very similar to the model. And it was a way for, you know, a lot of people to be able to fabricate, fabricate simultaneously. The fabrication was done in only just about three months with another three months of planning. It was done by about 70 volunteers and uh, with a just a tremendous amount of work. And, uh, and, and the most amazing part about that, uh, I think, is that most of the people this year were new. Um, this is a group that really uh, encourages people to come in who've never built art before, have never played with metal before, never played with fire. A, a lot of our people have never even been to Burning Man before. And, uh, and they just came in and we're a teaching group and we like, you know, so we taught everybody how to weld, how to plumb. Um, how to really think about sculpture and yeah. And learn a trade. And learn a trade, yeah. <laughs> and learn a trade and especially, you know, I mean, it's really wonderful to see like people and it's often women who've never really even used a screwdriver power tool in their life, you know. By the, you know, the end of the summer, they're like welding and chopping and grinding. much smarter to have <laughs> heard you explain it. Thank you so much. And goodbye to the Flaming Lotus Girls. Bye. 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 <laughs>